thank you guys so much for clicking on this video about sparkles in Eevee. And you know what? Let's just jump right in. So first to get started with teaching how to apply sparkles in Blender, let's get rid of one of these materials. So I'm going to show you guys how to do sparkles using this hat up here. So first I'm going to minus this material that is currently on there so we can start nice and fresh. So the first thing you're going to want to do for that hat is obviously <laughs> add a new material. So head over here on the right side to material properties and now just hit new. Okay, so now most of the work we're going to be doing from this point forward is going to be in the shading tab. So head over to your shading tab. Okay, so once you're in your shading tab, I recommend first, uh, it's gonna probably put you default in solid mode viewport shading. So let's head over to display render preview. Okay, so now this will give us a little bit of a better idea what we're going to do with our actual material. So what we're going to do now at this point is select the object you're working with. Okay, so one of the first things that we're going to do is up the metallic on that object nearly all the way. So I'm going to up the metallic to somewhere right around 9 on that object. So now what I'm going to do is take down the roughness to about 0.1. So at this point, we're going to mess with something that most likely you haven't messed with too much in the material tab. And that is the clear coat. So we're going to actually turn up this clear coat all the way for this object. Okay, so now one of the first things we're going to do to adding different uh, nodes is we're going to do shift A and add a Voronoi texture just slap it right here so now what we're gonna do is attach a normal map to our Voronoi texture so I'm gonna do shift a normal and then select normal map and make sure that you have the color of the Voronoi texture connected to the color of the normal map and now we're gonna also just attach this normal map straight over here to the normal of our object and you'll see this kind of odd effect happening but that is exactly what we want so that's perfectly okay so now what we're going to do is adjust this Voronoi texture to be roughly the amount and size that we would want for our sparkles Usually sparkles, you're going to want to have a finer size for them. So I'm going to down this quite a bit. I might even down it all the way to around 500. Okay, and already you can kind of see we're getting an effect, but we want to make this far more complicated uh, just to help convey sparkles a little bit better. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select that Voronoi texture that we've just been working with and just do Shift D, move it down, and then we're going to do Shift A, search, and add a bump texture. Then we're going to connect that color to the height of that bump. We're going to do Shift A, search, and just type in Mix. And now what we're going to do is with this mix, I just dropped it right between the normal for the top Voronoi and the normal uh, for the principal BSDF, and that's totally fine. So now this float, we're gonna change to color. We're gonna change this mix to add. And now we're gonna just attach the normals to all the places that we want to. So that you have an A slot and a B slot, so just attach the normal map to that and the bump to the one below. And then plug the result in over here to the normal. 
And next we're going to be adding some nodes to the base color of our object. So first I'm going to do Shift A, search, and search for a mix. Select mix, and then make sure that color is selected for your mix. And you can just leave mix as the main option on that. Okay, so next we're going to do Shift A and search for a hue saturation value. And just place it right there, and let's just hook it straight in to A. And now what we're going to do is do Shift A, search, and add an RGB. And what this RGB will do is help us decide what color we actually want our sparkles to be mostly conveying. So I'm going to plug that into B, and you can move that around to slightly change the color of your sparkles. And as well as your hue saturation value, we're going to set first off saturation to 2. And we're going to set the hue to 0.9 and the value to 1.4. So at this point, the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to add a noise texture. So do Shift A, search and type in noise texture. But for the noise texture, have the color just plugged into the color. For your hue saturation value, and you're going to see this kind of rainbow effect occurring, uh, mostly due to our hue saturation value. So you can just play with this and turn it up or down as you see fit. However, uh, what I typically like is honestly just something around two. And we're also going to take the detail down all the way and make sure the distortion is also down all the way. Okay, so now at this point, we're going to add a color ramp. So do Shift A, search, and then type in color ramp. And just add the color to the vector. And now last but not least, we're going to add something called uh, Shift A, search, layer weight and once you have your layer weight what we're going to do is take the facing and hook that up to your color ramp and then we're going to take that same facing and attach it to the mix fac over here that we created first for the base color and as you can see, we've already got this really cool uh, shiny effect going on that moves with our uh, render view mode in Eevee. Um, but of course you can do minor things to adjust this, uh, such as darkening it over here and changing it to the desired colors. And you can also take this color ramp, and I do recommend instead of black, maybe changing this to more of a lighter color to help the colors that you want to come through to come through. So for instance, uh, you see what I just did. Uh, this changes a lot of the effects. So as you can see, I kind of have this gold outline now of this top hat. I think that actually looks really neat. So just for this, I'm going to keep that. Then I'm going to add one even in the middle, maybe make it slightly darker for this color ramp, and then just play with it, move things around, and just see what feels right. There's a lot of settings to play with, as you can see, uh, such as the hue, which makes a huge difference, the saturation, so I would recommend mostly playing around with the hue saturation value, which I think will have the largest effect on the overall look. Thanks again so much guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. And if you can do any one of these three things, it would help my channel greatly. Please consider either liking, commenting, or subscribing. 
thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys next time.